Sagittarius, hello. A special message for you guys today. The first one is that the medium of the archer is actually wood. The medium of the archer is being strong yet flexible. And that the tool of the archer is the bow. And you're not only an archer, but you're a sign of the zodiac that incorporates and like an animus spirit so a lot of the other signs are either an animal or a human or human trait or something that a human might do such as the water bearer <clears throat> or the, the the maiden virgo or bee something a human might be you guys are actually something a human is and something an animal is plus this pliable weapon this pliable medium of the bow so i've been thinking a lot about you guys as we go into nova as we go to december rather because i wanted to do a reading about you guys paying special attention to your actual element which is fire and as you know in the tarot the wands represent fire they represent spirit your animal spirit so, <clears throat> you're going to have to excuse my animal in the background there. But we're going to get started with the reading. So, first, overall vibe. Here we go. We got a queen of pentacles in reverse. So, for you, my Sagis, it's an earth sign, queen in reverse. Connie. <clears throat> so, here's somebody that would have given you an offer of money. Here's somebody that would have given you an offer of time. Yet, she just doesn't really have it right now. And honestly, you're not really having her right now. That's the, the overall vibe. So then we're going to delve into the monthly for you guys. Overall vibe, we got our Queen of Pentacles right over here. Right over here. All right. We got our Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> overall vibe. Now moving into week one. Devil card. I'm reading it reverse to you, I guess, but, you know, the meaning is what the meaning is with this card. There really isn't a reversal of this card except for if you're thinking about overcoming some sort of addiction or obstacle. So in the first week, that's your first thing. Okay, second card coming out to you. You know what? I'm not going to like this. It'll make much more sense to you. <clears throat> it's a water sign. So this person is a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces person that really cares about you, loves you, is looking out for you. You're really seeing eye to eye with them. Okay, go on into this week. And then uh, end of week one, some good money news. And that's really good because you needed that. You probably had to get a little bit creative. This person may have inspired you or been just like hoping for this for you, praying this for you, um, really believing in you. All right, Saggy. All right, you got somebody really strong vibes with somebody who believes in you. <clears throat> and they want you to do well financially. So they're sending you some good vibes. I'm not sure what this is. We'll revisit this, obviously. Week two, two of wands. <clears throat> so making a decision, should I stay or should I go? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So something not quite yet. You have this here. So some sort of money coming in week one. And then some sort of no stop happens here. Maybe this gets back to you, or as a result of should I stay or should I go, you might miss out on a financial opportunity. <clears throat> I think maybe week one is your birthday, so you're just like really connecting with people and lots of time with them, and you're just like loving it. You're like, yes, this is, you know, exactly what I wanted. I needed my friends around me. Okay, then we got Knight of Cups here. We got <clears throat> Queen of Wands energy. And then Five of Wands at the end. So a little bit of battling, swashbuckling happened there. Excuse me, swashbuckling. So if you don't know what that means, like a little bit of a ruckus. You're trying to exert yourself. A little bit in your stone energy right now. At this point, we have to stand strong. 
So play, 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 fun, 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 and then you're like, okay, what am I really going to do right now? Which way am I going? You kind of get your bearings here. Okay, then over here, <clears throat> the beginning of this week, you got your water sign person. This is a different one. Somebody significantly younger than you, they're definitely like, cup is overflowing right now. They have some sort of emotional trauma happening to them. And you have to come in and just kind of be the superhero, which makes you feel pretty good. You like being in that energy. Let's go ahead and clarify what's going on with a couple different characters. Here. What's going on with this major arcana card? Obviously the devil. <clears throat> major arcana, major arcana. What have you, Sagittarius? Excuse me. <laughs> Love y'all. How y'all doing, by the way? I forgot to greet you. Okay. Um, here we go. Six. Charity. Giving a little bit of time, giving a little bit too much charity. At the same time, you want to do it. You love it. Not too much. It's not too much. You have it to spare. You have it to spare for this person. You love this person. And you just get this vibe that, like, you really... You have to take time with them in doses. You want to give them a lot of time, have a lot of fun with them. You maybe know them since you were like 16 or younger. But you just want to you know, spend time with this person. It might be an old friend. All right, and that's that makes sense because it's your birthday, Saggy. You got love for this person. Okay, Eight of Wands. You're ready to kind of like. hear back but you're not hearing back about this ace of pentacles whatever this is in the reverse here let's see excuse me sorry that card line came off in the bottom but we're going with this okay some sort of air sign you put a stop to some sort of time or you might want to i don't know you kind of have like a little standoff with this person Who's an air sign? This could be Gemini, Libra, but it could be, let's see, Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, so like you may want to break up with somebody that could be an air sign around this time. Put a stop to something. Either a friendship or a relationship. Something with an air sign, whether Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Mid month, you're just like, mm mm. Can't give you this time right now. Want to be single, want to be free. I don't really want to listen to you. Or something else. Some sort of immature offer of love, or you see somebody with water sign want immature, they're having a tower moment, or you could have a tower moment in relation to if this is a third okay, if this is love triangle kind of thing, or if you love a water sign, you might love a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, you might not have time for their antics. If they ha are having a moment where you're like, Ugh, I told you so. Can happen to you, but it's like this isn't really your business. That is serious. Yeah, because look, what's gonna happen is gonna happen. You have this justice card, so mid month, like, do not embroil yourself. Whatever that is, page of wands in reverse, so they could be just like an immature, like, really sexual tension there. That I don't know, you just like. Page here. What is this page of wands in reverse? I wonder.
Okay. Every month, there seems to be some sort of drama playing out, some sort of soap opera between yourself, a water sign, and air sign. There's some sort of <clears throat> legal component or some sort of, like, karmic component. Okay, eight of pentacles. Skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic. Going by school. What? Or the page of wands. Okay, so this could be uh, some sort of old job. An old passion that may have died. Okay, here we go. A little story has emerged. Okay, the year 88. He may have been born in 88, something like that. Somebody in your life, like a mother figure, is like hoping for you, like has a wish for you. If you were born in 88, somebody that is around you that's a woman or that has like a feminine energy or just even somebody that like he or she, whatever, or they, like they just have like a very light-hearted, they could just brush things off their shoulders. I feel like these people, this person, just like their, their shoulders are just light. They don't have any sort of like worry but they've known you since like for your whole life you've born you may have been born like near the same year or in the same year in the same calendar year with this person <clears throat> they have a star for you they always look at you as like good luck and a good omen and they they have these two cups pouring out and a star card here for you Sagittarius, this may have been somebody that we've talked about before who we like you just same birth year. You freaking love them and they love you. Okay. So who is coming out? Moon month. Because we also have these cards below the deck here. This is extended. I believe I mentioned that. Okay. You and this Knight of Cups in reverse are always friends. Like, no matter what happens between you guys, there's definitely friendship there. So I think by the end of the month, like, oh my god, there's definitely a marriage there. I mean, this four of wands here, look. Like, let's do a little look into the actual deck to see the reading. Like, I'm not making this shit up. Excuse my language. By the way, this is Magic D Magician Tarot. Like, share, and subscribe below if you are interested and want to know more about this. You can email me, but here is the Four of Wands, and I love this card. I love it. Love it for you, Sagittarius, because you and this sign, eye to eye. Like, no matter what this is, what the soup is, that's what I'm going to call it, the soup. You're over it. You may not get the quick communication that you want, like, immediately after whatever the stop communication is, but that's because, like, you can't stop communication. You just cannot. There's, and then there's this tower moment here. Like, you might be involved, too. These two pages. You and this person have always just been on the same soul path. And, like, I don't know, you could be best friends, you could be lovers. They could be your mother figure in this case. This could be, this is a very broad situation here, but then it's also very microscopic because on the outside, like, you can see this person watching over you. You can see this time spent in the beginning here, this water sign. You can see this person as a child when they both their pages and this king and queen. They're looking at each other, and then they're looking at each other here, too. If you move this here, the queen and the knight. And that, to me, is where I get the sort of, like, <clears throat> you just look at each other as, like, friends, or one is, like, a little bit more mature than the other, or you feel like you're more mature than this person. But you just continue to see, like, the other side of things from each other. And so it just, like, makes stuff funny and fun for you guys. And you have a learning 
tutelage experience and they have this wish and this hope for you. Let's see what this wish and this hope is. <clears throat> and then we also have our Queen of Pentacles here. So I'm not going to forget about the overall energy for today. We're going to bring it back. <clears throat> okay, massages. Nine of Wands in reverse, coupled with the Chariot in reverse. Okay, oof, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. You really are. Because you're like trying to make stuff happen with this Nine here. It's nine of Wands, just let me give you a quick one. Nine of Wands, okay, Strength Readiness in reverse. Like you're trying to kickstart something, you're like really fiery about it, but then you're getting this Chariot in the reverse. Where it's like, no. Is it some sort of... Okay, four pentacles. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions. Even those less fortunate. But then, of course, this is the four of pentacles. So we know this to be a little bit about like stagnation and not wanting to invest, not wanting to share, not wanting to share time. Take that as you will in regards to whether or not you should move forward with this because you're getting... Although to you, it's like... They could not be in the reverse. Like, it could be that this is just good. This is like... This is what the difficulty is in doing this. But let me just tell you. Alright, so... You would pursue this because like you know that it would be crazy, but like you just don't. But you do have the chariot, so you could, and you have a four. So like, the four always means to me that you have it in your savings, but are you willing to risk it? Time wise, experience wise. Okay, life experience, significant life event, powerful revelation, leads to change, time to forget wins. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so yeah, it's 16 again. The two towers here that you have. You two are both like, you don't need to do anything. You're both on a collision course. Just always. This collision course that could be... Just like you guys are meant to look at each other and be like mirrors to each other. They're hermit. Okay, Virgo. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. I was asking like, why? Okay, so what is this like dynamic here? That's like almost love, but it's friendship. But it's also like you get embroiled. You're kind of hesitant here. Don't talk about numbers with the six. It's involving time and attention. Yeah, here's the six of pentacles again. This is good. Okay, maybe you could be getting, like, somebody could be coming to your rescue, like, with time and money. Give some time and money. Maybe this person just, like, is on the verge of something. And you guys are both, like, you have these weird, like, double six, double eight numbers that I feel like are involved with whole self and also your past, like, King of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so this person, you are having a new idea towards this person. A new, like, this could be good. Like, this could be fire. Could be good. You definitely, like, you're on a collision course with this person. So, whoever this person is, I don't know who this could be for you. Of chairs, but it's definitely a king of cups as we've seen from the beginning here okay so the king of cups person here is coming at you you guys are both on a collision course they have a fresh new idea and like they're gonna give it to you 
if you have a fresh idea about them, that you're going to give it to them, if you know what I mean. If you catch my drift, like, love them. If this is not some sort of, like, just friendship, just, like, looking over, then it's with this King of Cups person. Who loves you, apparently. And wants to share their ideas with you. And you want to share your idea with them. Most importantly, this is your ace. You have your ace of fire. You're totally in your queen of wands energy. And then there's all this pentacle action. You look down. <clears throat> Tons of pentacles. You also have a star and you have the high priestess. And I'm going to bring that back to the beginning. Because you have your queen of pentacles here on the side. That's your overall energy. She was kind of in the reverse. She was feeling a little bit lazy, a little lonely. I don't know why she was feeling that way. And she wasn't, like, giving time. So, like, you were not giving time to, like, a particular job or putting in the work. Like, you were just at a commission, like, ding, you know what I mean? So money was not coming. Like, you had to look at life in a different way. So this is your, but of course, this is your overall energy that I'm just getting from the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So who knows what that could be for you. And then we have this Three of Pentacles here, which as we know is the creativity, harmonious togetherness card. So you weren't quite getting that up off the ground. And again, all the pentacles, like money and your job is supposed to be going well, but you have sort of this like, cool big event coming up where you have to focus on yourself and your time and who's around you, your friends, like people that you've always had these synchronicities and stuff with. And then there's definitely a water sign person there that like you connect with on a whole nother level. Obviously they always like represent your childhood and like your secret desires and, and things like that. And then you have a should I stay or should I go sort of vibe here with this too. You have a stop sign with our pentacle you know what I mean? And then you have an eight, but in reverse. So it's like not coming, news not coming fast to you. King of, Knight of Cups here. You guys are looking at each other like, <laughs> you know, that like kind of like, ah, I love you, but I also like have known you so long and I kind of like, you get on my damn nerves kind of thing. I don't know. I was like, get on my nerves. But then when I was like, okay, so what's going on here? We started pulling from the angel deck. We got the high priestess the star and the eight and the eight of swords and the eight of pentacles okay so illusion being trapped trapped and this kind of reminds me of the uh feeling that i don't know if you guys know Lil little wayne had of not being of this earth and where he was like i'm a martian this card in reverse like it signifies like you're trapped here, but you also it's like an illusion. You're like over it, whatever. The eights are very significant to your life. So we have an eight of wands. I mean, sorry, an eight of swords and an eight of, eight of pentacles. They're both in reverse. They come out together. So there's this 88. Okay, one is involving thoughts, like you're working hard on your thoughts. The other one is involving pentacles, meaning like your time, your earth, like energy. Your earth energy and your thoughts are wrapped up in this, like, any, this binary. <clears throat> but then you have the high priestess and the star at the other side. Like, when I asked the question, like, it's like, what is this relationship? I got, it's a relationship of two different people, like, two different pains born at the same time. So, same journey, because you got double eights. But they have, like, a premonition or, like, a spell or something, some sort of incantation with a star here for a positive wish, positive resolution with you. And then there's this laziness energy. You've got your hermit here. You've got your queen of wands in reverse. Or the chariot and, chariot and the uh, nine here. It's like two different paths. You could go towards this way. Or towards this way. You're trying to figure out if you have an emotional connection with this person. And something more, or if it's just an emotional connection with this person. It's a lot for this month, and it's a lot of love. But I think it's also wrapped up in your work. There's something about the way that they are, the way that 
the water is flowing relates to you, your writer. <clears throat> Sagittarius. Or you're a speaker. You're just not doing something that, like, they do that you're like, oh my god, I wish I could do that. But you also, like, you're different. <clears throat> you're yin and yang to each other. And then here's this queen of air. So here she is again. At the center of this reading. She's in your way or she's annoying you. You don't want to give that thing any more thought. You don't want to work with this person. Something like that. But if you did... A little bit, I think, which is where we have this four of pentacles. <clears throat> then it'll be good for you. All right, Sagi, to be continued. <laughs>